So hi everyone, today we will learn how to identify the position of the fetal head in the maternal pelvis. So let's come close and see. Which fontanel are we seeing here? Do you see this? So when I do a PV exam and I move my finger along the fontanel, we know this is triangular. So this is the posterior fontanel. Now to identify the position of the fetal head in the pelvis, we should see this posterior fontanel is close to which bone. So let's see from here. This is the symphysis pubis whereas the sacrum is behind. So if you see this posterior fontanel is close to which bone? It is close to a symphysis pubis which means where is the occiput? The occiput is also close to a symphysis pubis. Why? Because occiput is where the posterior fontanel is. So position of the posterior fontanel tells the position of the occiput. So now we know occiput is close to symphysis pubis. So this will be OA or OP? Yes, you are right. This is going to be occipito anterior. But now let's move forward. Is it exactly underneath the symphysis pubis? No. It is close to it. So it is oblique. Now, which means it is either left occipital anterior or right occipital anterior. But let's see which one is it. So if you look at me, I am looking at the maternal pelvis from below. So this is my right side. But if you see, this is the pelvis of the mother and this is actually the left side of the mother. And this is why the position is left occipital anterior, not right. So remember, this is my right, but this is patient's left hand side. So the position is L-O-A. Eventually, it will rotate and convert into O-A, direct occipital anterior after internal rotation. 